Today I'm going to show you how we can use uh, custom skis in your uh, isogen projects. Just as an example, I'm starting with the uh, saddle rod plate support. Place it somewhere on the pie. And there's a location. If I try to generate isometric out, I get an isometric drawing. Then I look at the output. It shows the pipe support as a guide and uh, defines the location for the pipe support. If would, I would like to use my own shape instead of the standard one, if I would like to use my own shape, then we need to customize the uh, isogen symbols and create a new S key for using it in my model. So in order to do that, we use under CADWORKS 2014 uh, plant isogen under I configure there is a utility called symbol editor using the symbol editor I create a new symbol editor create a sim uh, using symbol editor I create a new uh, I, I can create my own symbols in this case the symbol I want to create is under the category of support so I click on support and I can choose the one which is you know, already available. Let's say I choose this SKID and click on create a new symbol. This will ask me to assign a new SK for my new symbol. We call it as IGSU and assign a name for this as support image graphics. Then I say copy this original graphic so that the existing graphics gets copied for my new use. Now I can modify this symbol as I need. Let me do some changes to this. Let me add some new lines. And add some extra lines. Then let me add some that <coughs> and once I have completed the drawing, I can find the starting point and ending point by using the tool called endpoint one, endpoint two, tap points. We have options to add these tapping points. Having having done this, I can export this symbol. It gets exported into an isogen ASCII symbol file. <clears throat> I say I'll be saving it under my project folder. ISO2 project one final basic. I save it under the name as igusershapes.aac. Having done this, the file is now saved. My next job is to assign this symbol key in my project file so that works can start using it. Now having completed, I go to my ISO uh, I configure uh, tool where I select the project, select the uh, style. Under the style, I click on detail where we have tool settings called supplementary settings. Under supplementary settings, we have something called data files. Under the data files, Typically, you will have only one row which, which says font information file. I need to add a new row, say add a row, then click, double click, select the ASCII symbols. The, the file which we are selecting is the ASCII symbols file. Then I click on the file path, click on these three dots, select the ASC file which you have created, say OK. Then save this setting. And just export it for your use to be used in uh, CADWorks. Now I go back to CADWorks, pipe support, double click, select isogen, and I choose the S key which I created, IGSU, and then image graphics support, 
as it is a round one I save this and if we run isogen out and generates a new asymmetric file you will be able to see that it is my new support has been shown the new symbol which I have created is shown so it's, it's a simple process first create using a symbol key and then specify the location in iconfigure and you will be allowed to use the test key on your inside your CAD model. 